Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Remember the Mavic Mini? Well, in the long line of series, I'm doing one more video, probably a couple more as well, but this thing is pretty much a very fantastic, super light drone so far. But um, if you remember, the last test we did was the extreme wind test, and it did actually pretty good up to about 20 miles per hour. Anything over that kind of started to blow it away. So we weren't a really able to test too many functions in the wind. I wanted to test a few more functions, a little bit more on the return to home accuracy, the precision accuracy, because we were getting you know, a couple feet in each direction in that high wind. So I wanted to test that. And I also wanted to test, there's been a lot of requests for to see if this thing can actually do some tracking follow if maybe you move while it's doing those quick shots. So let's go ahead and put this thing up in the air and test some of those. And this also has that latest, I think it's the 030 update. So let's go ahead and try that and see how it works. So I did get the Flymore combo and the other combo guys just to review. I don't get any of this free from DJI, so these are all my own purchases given to me for review or I purchase them, I treat everything exactly the same. Uh, no special preference for free stuff. But these I did buy just so you let to let you know and I did buy the Flymore combo which I'm using here. And so I'm just going to pick a random battery. These are all charged up. Now what you might notice is this thing a lot of people say man it feels like a toy and it really does feel like a small little tiny toy. But that's because it's so light. It's only 249 grams so you don't have to register it with the FAA. Uh, once you put the battery in here you actually gives it a little bit more weight still under 200 and 50 grams but then it kind of starts to feel like a quality drone but without the battery in man this thing does feel like a little toy but it does perform a lot better than a toy and that's the main thing right and let's just go ahead and hold takeoff okay we'll let it launch up and you can hear it's talking to you home point has been updated so if you guys missed the other videos, go ahead and check out the playlist. I'll have that pop, had pop up here and also in the description, just so you can see how this performs in wind and no wind, using all the quick shots with my daughter. She was actually helping me in the first flight test. And uh, also the unboxing and stuff on the regular version and the Flymore combo. If you're thinking about buying this, especially Christmas is coming around and you may want to get something like this. Um, it's a pretty good, darn good drone but if you want to see the other videos go ahead and check that out anyway recording in 2k just kind of moving the gimbal around a little bit letting it hover I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up I don't know if this makes a difference or not with the mini I don't think it does but you know with the Mavic Pro you usually have to pick it up to about 30 feet so I'm gonna go ahead and do that just to give it the benefit of the doubt we're here on Maui beautiful afternoon here let's take a little look at the West Maui Mountains in the camera, see how that camera's doing. So pretty darn good. So I'm, the first test I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fly out this way, far enough away, um, just so it can, you know, do a, be far enough away to do a precision return to home, right? So I think you wanna be at least 50 feet away, 50 to 100. Otherwise, it's just going to land within that 50 foot like radius. And I think that's the mistake I made on my my first test. So I'm going to go out that far and then this is where I'm going to hit return to home. So just hitting the home button here and definitely don't want to land right there. So I'm going to hit return to home. You got to click and hold, which is actually a good um, safety. So here we go. Let's just see how close before we do like our quick shot tracking while we're moving tests. Let's see how close maybe it gets um, in this precision landing. Because I've never actually done one of these when there was barely any wind. Right now there's about maybe zero to five coming from that direction. And as you're going to see in your video, guys, um, this is not the gimbal. This is the mountain that slopes from left to right pretty hard. This is Haleakala Mountain on Maui, Hawaii. And the gimbal is straight. Don't worry. It is just the mountain sloping down so we'll let this thing just land on its own and we'll just see how precise it is it's had 14 satellites the whole time and uh, we did everything kind of by the book and let it have plenty of time on the ground to acquire satellites and all that stuff like I was talking about so let's just see how close it really gets not touching anything you see how it's slowed down 
at about five feet, it gets really slow. So it seems like um, it seems like it's always at least about a foot away to me in my tests. And I have done my compass calibration and everything. So, you know, some people may get a little bit of deviation from that. Some people may have it landing perfectly. But it doesn't seem to have that precision landing where it uses that bottom camera to detect the landing pad like the, say, the Mavic Pro series does. That's something they can update, and they did update that in the Mavic 2 pretty quickly after they released it. So I'm, I'd imagine that might happen with the Mavic Mini, but for now it doesn't seem to have that super precision landing, but good enough. I mean, that was one foot away. Okay, so let's try some more stuff. We want to try some of those quick shots with the movement, right? That's the main reason I'm trying this test. So we're going to go ahead and launch manually. You can also launch it manually. You push the control sticks down and in or down and out till they start. I believe they will shut off if you don't launch within like 10 seconds. Let's see if that happens. Oh, they're still going. By the way, guys, you can fly this without a phone. So say you forgot your phone, even though you have done the initial activation and stuff, or it maybe you just wanted to fly around the park line of sight, you actually don't have to put your phone in. You can leave this all closed up, boot it up as normal, launch with these sticks, and fly it around. What's going on, man? You guys gonna play? Uh, yeah, it'll be a little while. Cool. We're the early crew. You got about 10 minutes and I'll be done? Is we, that cool? We won't have people here for... <laughs> okay. I mean, they're perpetually on Maui time. So what I was saying, you can fly this thing with just the controller without your phone if you wanted to, line of sight, just keeping it inside at the park or if you're training. But we're flying it with the phone and let's launch with the sticks. Take off. And let's do some of these, um, quick shot functions right so just launch in remember you don't have to use that automatic launch if you don't want to and we're gonna try some of these quick shots and I'm gonna try to walk and move a little bit so with the quick shots remember you actually have to stop your video recording and then you have to go into the video button up here go down to quick shot this doesn't have any unlimited follow me or unlimited orbit modes right so you're kind of um, at the mercy of these. So we'll do the maximum 120 to give us some time. And the first thing we'll do is probably want to do a circle. So maybe I'll step back a little bit here. So we have a, like a wider circle. Um, so we'll press on circle here and then start. Okay. And you got to tap yourself or whatever you're tracking. I guess you could track something else. And let's see if we move. Yeah, it's still kind of tracking. So first of all, what we'll do is we'll keep ourselves in the center. And then we'll start it like this. Three, two, okay. One. Okay, so it's starting to record. That's what this thing does and it moves. So I'm gonna go the direction the drone is going and see if it keeps me tra in track. Mm. Kinda, it's kinda is. I'm just I'm just walking in this same direction. It's definitely not moving and doing an orbit. See that? And then you only get one revolution, and then it stops recording. And in this situation, it went right back to where it was, and then it stopped. So you can kind of do a moving track, but um, it seems like it has a designated camera setting that's not going to really follow you let's try that one more time and let's press on me here press start Three, two, one. and I'm going to walk this way now in the opposite direction the drone is going and let's see how good is is it keeping me in video that's not bad okay starting to get a little dark Oh, interesting. So it's turning its head towards me, but it's still doing its orbit. You see that? Okay. So yeah, you can do little orbits like that and it stayed pointing at where I was. So just a little FYI, you can do quick little orbits like that. Definitely not as um, advanced as full on infinity orbiting and following. Let's try this. 
I'm gonna do that again and I'm gonna run straight back, okay? Three, so we'll start. Two, one. And when it starts to follow, I'm gonna start jogging. Okay, so it's doing its orbit. Now I'm gonna start jogging. Let's see what it does. This is just a slow jog. It's trying to keep its head turned towards me. I'm a little bit to the right of the screen, but it's doing its orbit. So it's not gonna deviate off its course. Well, that time it lost me. See that? <laughs> that got a little funny. So now it's pointing up towards the sky. So maybe they can work on giving us a little bit of um, infinity tracking. That would be pretty cool. All right, so what else do we wanna try? We, well, I guess we wanna try a couple of different modes here. Maybe we'll do a helix and see if this works. We'll go start, we'll click on ourselves again and start. So this is gonna come, let's bring it down a little closer. Remember what this does is it goes up and out as it's circling to 120 feet. So let it start and then I'm going to start walking this way, just straight forward. This is a slow walk. And now I'm basically where it was stopped from, where it started from. And let's see, no, it looked like it totally lost me, so yeah. So maybe not. Not gonna have tremendously awesome tracking features. And see that? So since it lost total sight of me, it's just going right back to where it was, regardless of where I am. So you wanna definitely keep that in mind. What else do we wanna try? Click on, so the Circle worked pretty good. I'd imagine the rocket really won't work, but let's just try it anyway. Let's get kind of right close and under it. Start. And start. We'll let it do its rocket. Go up, and I'm gonna walk a little forward. Let's see what happens. I'll go to the edge of the screen because it looks like I can walk off the screen. So the rocket, you're going to need to be stationary, or you can run around in where the screen is, um, in the view of the camera, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So right back down. So remember, it doesn't really care where you are, so be careful if you're trying to do these things and moving around. There we go. And just for giggles, we'll also try a droney. And for this one, we'll go right into the sun here and get pretty close. Start. Hey, why is the X right there? <laughs> That's interesting. Censoring, right? There we go. Clicking on myself. That was a little weird. I was clicking a few times. Um, let's go ahead and start it. I think I'm at 120 feet. And when it starts, there, it started recording. I'm gonna walk to the left. Ah, oh, the head is turning. Okay, so you can do a moving droney, guys. That's cool. The head is tracking me and turning to a certain extent. Look like it lost sight of me and it's not tracking anymore. Let's see if I stay here, if it goes back over there or if it comes where I am. So it's ignoring my position you can see my hat cam, it's gonna go right back to where it left off. Okay, let's go back and do our recording again. Remember we gotta go back in, whoop, there's my, all my photos I just took, the library. We gotta press back on the droney, and then we gotta press back on video, and press to start recording video again. Okay, so the last test I wanna do guys is I wanna just fly out that way and I want to do another um, precision return to home with the manual launch. 
right? And see how that is. This time we'll press the return to home button on the controller. Press and hold. Go home. You know what people are saying too is if you tap home real quick, it'll stop the beeping, but it will keep coming home. Let's see if that's true once it starts coming back. It's rising up to about 100 feet. And now it's coming back. I'm going to tap home real quick. No. So guys, <laughs> all you guys that are telling me that if you tap home, it stops the beeping. It does stop the beeping, but it also stops return home. So I would not advise that. Go home. Okay. So that doesn't work. I was pretty sure that didn't work, but that was kind of like a final test on that. Just kind of see how close it lands to that um, launch point. Even though we did the manual launch with the sticks, remember? I pressed down and in, got the propeller spinning, and then pushed up to launch. It slows down right about 10 feet. It's kind of assessing its situation. Doesn't really seem to be looking at the landing pad, so. There we go. So that's about twice as far as that last launch where I launched it automatically from the app and then actually went up to about 30 feet. So um, there we go. That's it. I think that's all I want to do. So I'm going to stop recording here and let's go through a pros and cons. That was about a foot and a half, two feet away that time. Okay guys, so what a great little test with the uh, Mavic Mini, another flight test. And uh, let's just talk really quick about how this thing did. As you can see for yourself, it was at least about a foot in uh, within the takeoff point. So not gonna get that super precision landing, it seems in my videos, as you would with say a Mavic 2 Pro or a um, Mavic 2 Zoom or a Mavic Pro. So still definitely tolerable within one to two feet of its home position, so that was fine. As far as the um, quick shots went, that was the main reason I wanted to throw this thing up in the air and see how those did. Um, those actually did pretty darn good and you can follow yourself a little bit or follow an object slightly, but keep in mind that what's gonna happen is if you go too far out of the screen or um, too far away, it's gonna lose that tracking and it's not really gonna work too good, but it seemed to work in most of the modes, not very good in Helix. I was surprised it actually worked in droney where you could kind of go out to a droney of yourself or of an object and actually you could move left and right and the head of the drone would actually turn while it went out and did that droney so that was really pretty cool and kind of surprised me so pretty much the helix and also the um the rocket the rocket i always forget that one it's called the rocket that one didn't really do any tracking and keep in mind that these things will not follow you and stop. They're going to complete their um, revolution and they're going to go right back where they stop from. So no matter where you move, uh, that's not going to work that way. So keep in mind that if you move directly under it or in front of it, it's not going to really detect you. It might detect you if you're within a couple feet and won't land on your head. But um, that thing is going to come back directly where... It started that quick shot from. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick little follow-up video. Again, we were looking at the 2K footage on here. Now this is the latest update. That was the 0 .030 update. And that's kind of how it's performing. I don't really notice a difference myself at all in it, but um, there was an update to take care of a few problems. And that's how it's flying. So anyways, more reviews and videos on this up there. The link will have been up there and also in the description. And also if you want to pick up your mini go ahead and check the links down below and check that out anyways thanks as always for watching and i'll see you in the next video hope you enjoyed it